Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Mark Uden and I'm an obstetrician gynecologist working at St. Michael's Hospital. I've done some extra work in infections and I'm happy to talk to you today about sexually transmitted infections, or as we call them, STIs. This is an important topic because STIs can have health consequences for people if they're not found and treated. There are different kinds of STIs. Some are caused by bacteria, like gonorrhea, chlamydia, or syphilis, and others are caused by viruses, like HIV or hepatitis, and all of these are important. What's very interesting is that we know that the rates of the STIs, especially those caused by bacteria, are going up in Canada and have been going up for several years. For example, we know that there are over 100,000 cases of chlamydia in Canada each year. We also know that these infections are most common in young people. And in most studies, that means people that are less than the age of 25 or less than the age of 30. And so it's really important for people to be tested for these infections so that we can find them. The good news is testing is not hard to do. It can be done with swabs from different parts of the body or blood tests. And a very easy way to screen for the bacterial infections is with a simple urine test. When we think about testing, there are certain people who should be tested regularly, but anyone can be tested if they think they've come into contact with one of these infections or come into contact with a person who's had the infection. In terms of people who should be tested regularly, we know that pregnant people are one example and that someone who's pregnant should be tested in every pregnancy. And we also know that people who are less than the age of 25 should be screened yearly for chlamydia. In some parts of the country, that's increasing, and the recommendation will be that people under the age of 30 should be screened yearly. For most of these infections, especially the bacterial ones, if we find them, they are easily treated with antibiotics, which is another great thing. Finally, what's really important is that we find these infections before they cause long-term complications. And we know that if these infections are not treated over time, they can lead to complications like infertility or pelvic pain. So if you are concerned that you might be at risk, it's important to get tested. In many parts of the country, access to testing is good and you can get tested at sexual health clinics or at your doctor's office. So thanks a lot for listening to this module on STIs.